Hello, welcome to another Creature Godot Engine tutorial. And this tutorial assumes you've watched the previous tutorial on how to compile, set up, and use the basic Creature Godot object in the Godot Engine. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to focus more on the technical artist side of things. Let's assume you have authored, exported the character, and set everything up in Godot, and you want to actually tweak or key animation parameters in Godot. So I've added a couple of properties that will enable you to do just that. Okay, so uh, building on the previous tutorial, assuming you've set up the creature Godot object and we've loaded up the raptor character over here, this guy over here. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to add a new node and I'm going to add an animation player node. Okay, so I'm going to create this, this object and so I have it under the character. The next thing I'm going to do, let me show you what options are. So there's a property called anim name. Okay, right now it's default, which is the default animation. Now, depending on how you authored your animations and how you call you named your clips, you can actually change it, right? So let's I know for for example in, in this in this example, I have also a clip called default one. Okay, that's how the character poses. And I also have a clip called default two. Or is it default zero? I forgot what the name was. Yeah, default zero. <laughs> okay, but okay. But let me go back to default one. So this allows you to switch clips easily without writing any scripting code. This is for testing within the Godot editor. Okay, the other thing you can change the key is you can actually change the animation frame. All right, so right now it's at frame zero. If I switch it to frame 10, you notice the dinosaur steps forward. So if I switch it to frame 100, it steps forward again frame 280 it steps somewhere in between the fours again okay okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually key or animate the anim frame values okay in the animation player so the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new animation clip all right and I will set the length of the animation to something longer so we can actually see things change over time right so let's uh, okay so and then I'm going to go here and I'm going to add a key to the track. Okay, so it says create new track for property anim frame, create, and now I can see anim frame pop up in the animation editor. And it's zero at the first keyframe. So I can step forward, say to frame 90 or whatever, and set a new value for anim frame. And then I can key it, I'll add a key, right? So look at that when I look at this, when I scrub across the timeline. The raptor is animating. So this is very powerful, right? This allows you as a technical artist to essentially try out the animation. Look at how slowly it's moving because I set it at a very large frame frame range, frame boundary, right? But it's kind of cool because this, this allows you as a technical artist to scrub through the frames and test out your animations to see if it's appropriate. And you can basically iterate a lot faster back and forth between Creature and Godot Engine. Okay, so this, these are the two new features I wanted to show you, which is you can basically change the animation clip directly from the animation, the editor in the Godot editor. You can also key the anim frame very easily. And the other properties are keyable too. You can also key the anim speed and so on and so forth. All right, so have fun with that. And I hope you have fun using the new Creature Godot animation runtime plugin. Thanks for watching.